Cement Off-Road. Thanks for watching. We are gonna do a little destination off-road group trail today. Originally, we planned to uh, head down to Rainbow Falls, and that's about an hour and a half drive or so for us. Uh, but it is Valentine's Day weekend, so today's Saturday, which is the uh, 13th, tomorrow's the 14th, and we wanted to make sure everybody got home at a reasonably good hour tonight so that they could uh, do any last minute shopping if they needed to, or uh, you know, just, just have the time at home with their families. So instead, we're gonna run up Bun School Road, and uh, that's a trail you've seen us do many times. We could probably run that, I don't know, a couple of hundred times in the last few years. So, uh, and I don't think that's an exaggeration. I think that's probably pretty accurate. Uh, but we're gonna run up there and do the ironclads, or at least we're going to try. They have received about seven inches of snow in the last uh, week, so um, it may be too snowy for us to get up the ironclads. Either way, we're gonna have a great time. I'm gonna try and get some really good video. Uh, like I said, this is a destination off-road run, so we've got Gene and Enigma, um, Dallas and Nomad X, and uh, Kathleen and Jack the Jeep, and Noel is, for, of course, in Mint. So we're all gonna go meet up here at the meat spot and then uh, head up to Canyon. It is negative four degrees down here in town. And when we checked the weather report for Allen's Park, which is where Bud School's at, it was like 22. So we're gonna go up there and enjoy a little bit of inversion and, uh, and get out of this really freezing cold weather. Okay, so we are on Bun School. We are just starting literally. I didn't think we were gonna have to deal with all of these razors today, but apparently everybody wants to be out playing in the snow. So I guess we'll have fun and hopefully not have to deal with too many yet. Everybody, we are on the trail on Bunk School Road. As you can tell we got a little bit of snow. It's not too bad. Uh, probably, I don't know, maybe half an inch to an inch of fresh powder. Everything here has all been dug down or uh, uh, tamped down by the razors. We didn't figure we'd get any razors out here. Um, it's pretty cold out, but uh, we've seen them running around a little, so uh, it seemed like maybe there'll be some. Uh, some people out here ripping around on those. Anyway, um, we thought it was gonna be a little warmer. It's, um, well, negative eight. <laughs> it's pretty cold out there. So we are uh, thankful for the heated steering wheel for sure. And um, I have gone on ahead and jumped in third position here. We've got Noel bringing up the tail and uh, get a great look uh, at Dallas's new 2021 JL. He's running on 37 stock height right now. He's, uh, he's working on his lift. It's just too cold to put it on. So uh, he decided to come out and ride with us today. We're just gonna try and keep the flex down on it. But it sure does look good. I like it. All squatty like that. Um, I know it doesn't do so good for the flex, but the look of it itself is really nice. Let's uh, go ahead and try this first little section here. This is really slick. Watch Dallas climb up it. Definitely oh, I still have thunder, so that's pretty good so far. In liner, actually. I was watching that right rear. It's just rubbing on the liner. Nicholas might be coming up 
Should I use downhill assist? Nice job. Oh, that's not bad. Bring it more towards me. There you go, right there. You're gonna slide just a little when you start to go around this corner. You're not gonna slide off, it's just gonna feel slippery. Yeah. It's not bad. Okay. I'll be good. Just go help, Cap. Okay, well, we made it to a point where it was too icy, just too, uh, completely too icy. We got uh, past the ironclads, I guess, that first obstacle, and then the rest of the path was like, none of us could get traction even with lockers on. So we just decided to call it a day, turn around and get going, but we actually then got down and talked a little bit more and I guess we're gonna go over the Switzerland Trail so we've been there a lot lately but it seems to be a good place to go have some fun in the snow and not necessarily get too crazy so that's what we're gonna do all right here we are on Switzerland Trail
Dean's up there. He's uh, getting me from his cell phone, it looks like. And uh, that's actually good because we can get some good GoPro footage of him bashing through the snowdrift when we get up here. Uh, there should be a snowdrift just around this bend uh, and up just a little bit further that usually fills in pretty well, so. Actually, Nick, let's stay right here for a second. Attempt up to the radio tower. There's, oh, Oop, there's somebody coming down. I don't have my radio. Where did the radio go? It's on my. Is that a no? Somebody coming down. Two vehicles. Hopefully, you're not right where they're trying to go. Gene, I've got room this way if you want to back towards me. All right, if that 4-1 ran up there, then we're not going to have any problems. Are you in his way? He's like, get out of the way. No, I don't think so, but... Start coming out the first half. It's not slippery or anything, we're good. Man, look at those guys said that they were from Milliken. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. The one that's going to Moab. The last week of April. Oh, they chickened out. They didn't take the rock. Oh, they went over on the right side. Up and over the rock, we're all good. Okay, here we go up to the radio towers again. Come 
There we go. You want me to park behind you? I just want to leave room for them. Coming up on your side. <laughs> All right, just like last weekend, we made it up and back down the radio tower. No issues at all. Um, there is a little bit of snow on the ground now, but uh, I didn't have to lock it up or anything like that. Just left it in four wheel drive and you know, crawled right up it. Um, so we got some good pictures. Uh, hopefully I remember to put those in the video like I did last time. And uh, we are on our way. We're actually gonna go grab the lower part of this trail and then um, there's a spot where it actually comes out of a small town. Uh, I can't remember the name, I'll put it here if I remember, but um, comes out there and that is the entrance to Pennsylvania Gulch. So uh, I think that we're gonna go on ahead and exit at that point, start heading back down to Boulder. Uh, but our friends that met up with us sounded like they might be going to do Pennsylvania Gulch. I didn't clarify with them, so uh, that could be a little fun for them if they're interested in doing that. We passed out some stickers, so hopefully they watch the YouTube channel and, and see this video. I've adjusted the, uh, the lineup a little bit so I can get some of uh, Mint in the video. So now we've got Gene on the lead. Catlin is following second. Well, is in third place here. Not that it's a race, but. Switzerland Trail. Gene, did you bring a compressor with you? Yes, I did. So we are now 
back on the road and heading to a spot where we can air up and get back on the road and hopefully get down the mountains before it starts really snowing. It looks like the sky is just crazy. So, um, I guess that's our tentative plan. It's the moose. ahead and air up a little ways down the canyon we uh, typically do a closing right there do like a quick rig walk around for anything that's changed and I know I owe that to the channel but it's too darn cold out there but anyway I appreciate you guys riding with us sticking it out this far again don't forget to head over to Kevin's Instagram channel Jack the Jeep and wish her a happy birthday you should be seeing this on Valentine's Day if you're catching it because you've got the uh, the notification bell turned on and if you don't have the notification bell turned on and you just happen to get lucky that's perfect but don't miss our next video hit that notification bell hit that like button even if you don't subscribe hit the like awesome. we'll see you next time a video of this because it's <laughs>